how they work. Let's start with hydrogen. Let's start with hydrogen. Uh, what's your symbol? Well, I was about to say, what's your symbol for hydrogen? It's literally right there. Hydrogen. How many valence electrons? One. One. Draw it in. And we'll draw our other hydrogen next to it. Remember, can we rotate the hydrogen to face the valence electron, like yeah. the open electron? Can we do that? Yeah. That's going to make it way easier to draw the circles, right? You don't need to have your circles like looping all the way around the outside. Uh, hey, quick question. When I draw the valence shell for this hydrogen, how many nucleuses can I have in the middle of that valence shell? One. Just one, right? Like, would this be a legitimate? No. That you see the problem? There's two nucleuses in there. That's no bueno. Uh, so let's look at drawing the valence shell for the. I'll do the blue one here. The valence shell. We got the. We have the nucleus. We have the nucleus of the hydrogen, and then we're going to grab. We've got the original atom, and then we come. Or sorry, original electron. We snag the other electron. Is this hydrogen now happy? Yes. No. Yeah, it's got two. I remember, hydrogen only needed two because it's got that, oh, yeah. that wet first shell. Yeah, tricky, tricky. Keep your mind around that one. Whew. Now we draw the shell for the other hydrogen. Do you know what's going to happen? It's going to take one. Right, and it's got it's got the nucleus. Don't forget to get the atom in there, the actual nucleus, and then it's borrowing one. How many pairs are shared here? One. One. Boom. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more complex one. We're going to do H two O, and then I'm going to kick you loose. I'm going to make a second video for kids to check some of the more complex ones. Um, but we're going to do H2O, uh, and then I'm going to kick you this. You ready? First off, let's remember the rule. Is one of these atoms like an only child here? Mm, yes. One atom? Which one's the lone atom? Oxygen. Oxygen. So let's, let's center oxygen in the situation here. It's going to go in the middle. How many electrons around oxygen? Six. Six on the outside shell, so we go one, two, watch this. I'm going to go ahead and go two, three, and then I'm going to put my lone ones left and right, just because I that way it's going to center, and the hydrogens will be on the other side. And then we'll come in with our hydrogens. Uh, I'm going to draw one hydrogen on the left side. How many electrons in the outside shell of hydrogen? One. One, there it is. Should I draw my other hydrogen here, or is it probably going to like line up or, because if we put the oxygen in the center? Put it on the side. Right? So we'll, we'll drop it over here. I'm going to give it a new color. Pink. Trying to watch for my colorblind folks. I love you guys. I'm trying not to make it hard. I hope if you're red, blue, colorblind, sorry. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at, let's start with this hydrogen. Let's circle its valence shell. Where is that valence shell going to go? Loop around that one I got the atom, one. right? And then I already got one electron, but I just need to borrow that one, right? Yeah. So am I good over here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That hydrogen's good. But I need to have a valence shell for every atom in here. Let's take a look at this hydrogen. How does this guy go? Loop around. Grab the atom, grab the hydrogen atom, and then we need two electrons in there. There we go. I got one, and I'm borrowing one from that oxygen. Okay, now the tougher one comes. Now we're going to draw the valence shell for the oxygen that's in the middle. You ready? How many electrons need to be in this valence shell? Two. Total. Two. Total electrons in the... Eight. Eight for oxygen. And it's going to borrow one from each hydrogen yeah. to, to get that, right? So let's make sure we count them out here. We got one, two. We got three. And then I'm going to snag that one. So now I'm up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to borrow that guy. And then these two electrons, they represent the shared bond between the hydrogen and oxygen two. here. Those two electrons represent that bond. And then I heard it in the back, how many pairs do we got? Two. Two, one pair each direction. Okay, your job is to finish the rest of the sheet. I'm gonna give you a pro tip on the back side. This one is really hard. Seven is like the mega challenge. Oh it's complex. You're gonna have to shift electrons around. It can work, but it's gonna kind of blow your mind for how it actually works, sorry. If you, so if you don't get it, don't, you can come in with like, a, I tried, but I couldn't figure it out. That's totally okay. But the rest of them I think you'll be able to get. Remember your tips up here in the instructions about keeping the, if it's got a lone atom, put it in the center. You need a valence shell. You need a circle valence shell for every single atom. Make sure you got one nucleus and then the right number of electrons. I need my cassette.